Hey guys, what is going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy, and in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to adjust the stance of your car, so like the ride height and the rake and stuff like that, but I'll also be showing you guys how to delete certain parts of the car, so like remove the bumper and the spoiler. So this might be blatantly obvious for some of you guys, but if you go down to the front of the car, just above the splitter and below the bumper, there'll be an icon to actually tune the suspension of your car, so you can adjust ride height, the rake, the track width on the front and rear so how far out the wheels come and also the camber on the front and rear so how tilted the wheels are but you can't actually get positive camber so uh yeah guys you just have to stick with negative or neutral now something that you guys notice is probably you can't adjust the rake once you've got your ride height really low so if you want to adjust the rake so how much it's leaning to the front or the back what you've got to do is you've got to make it high and then you can tilt it forwards or backwards you can also stance your car even more by putting a body kit on so it will stance it automatically and then you can go in and change it even more to make it even lower. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering how to remove the spoiler of your car. So if your car comes stuck with an actual spoiler, what you can do is you can go to the rear of the car and once it's got a spoiler on, you can press triangle if you're on PS4 or Y if you're on Xbox and it will actually remove the spoiler for you. Great for a lot of clean builds and what you can also do guys is on select cars you can remove the bumper for example on the A86, you can remove the rear bumper and also the C10 Skyline you can remove the chrome bar bumpers that are on that on the front and back but I'm not too sure what other cars there are out there that can actually do that so if you guys know of any cars that you can remove the bumpers on be sure to leave them in the comments and you guys can go and check what cars have actually got the option to remove bumpers. So anyway guys that is pretty much it for these quick tips if you did find it useful please do leave a like on the video. And also, if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. I've got plenty more Need for Speed tips and tricks on the way. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.